yeah, my wife is like, you've never seen Rosemary's Baby? And I'm like, never heard of Rosemary's Baby. And she looked at me like I was an idiot. So we're watching this. Yeah. The 1968 horror drama Rosemary's Baby been on the list for a while. We're finally getting to it. Roman Polanski uh, directed this film. <laughs> Let's see. I, I did Hamlet a while back, didn't I, Liz? And then we did the uh, the, the Sandpiper and He's then Seven. Diego. Originally, the smallest apartment was a nine. They've been broken up into four, fives, and sixes. <laughs> Fuck are you doing behind me, man? She was chipper right to the end. Now, this room, for instance, it would make a lovely nursery. Yes, yellow and white wallpaper would brighten it tremendously. <laughs> she couldn't lift it by herself. She was 89. Oh. Should we open it? Maybe her son should. Hey, but how the hell she moved that heavy-ass dresser? So I could walk to all the theaters from here. Take it. Okay, darling, we get out of the other lease, okay. I was dead brother an unpleasant reputation around the turn of the century. They cooked and ate several young children, including a niece. Oh, lovely. Apparently people believed him, so they attacked and nearly killed him in the lobby of the brand. Shit. Terrific. The house? The lamb. Oh, they called him Black Bramford. In 59... A dead infant was found, wrapped in newspaper in the basement. Hey, these are shelves. Let's make love. Okay. Couple's got a new place. That's one way to start it up. Hey, he didn't say nothing. He yanked the cord out. He probably fucked the lamp up. It don't matter. Butt-ass naked. Floor looked kind of dusty, but I could be wrong. This is exciting. Yeah, that's how it's done, folks. You ask politely, and then you... I hear the trench sisters join. Calmly get undressed. And you do it. Yamaha is race bred from champions. And as you can see, we have a model for every kind of riding. Look. Uh, oh, is that him in, his, in one of his commercials? I'm sorry. I, I thought you were Victoria Vetri, the actress. I'm sorry. I'm staying with the cast of Vets, the seventh floor. I'm their guest, sort of, since June. Yeah, me too. Gives me the creeps. Say, listen, why don't we come down here together regular and do our laundry? We'll come down here together, do our laundry together. I'm not mad about the smell mm. either. I hope it works. I was starving and on dope and doing a lot of other things. They're childless, though. I'm like the daughter they never had. I'd be dead now if it wasn't for them. That's an absolute fact. Do a brother in the Navy. Okay. What the fuck was that? Get back, will you please? What was your name again? Terry what? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, well, we're getting back. Teresa enough for you. Move on. Move on. It's been an accident. You'd better brace yourself with some bad news. She's dead. Oh, shit. Oh, he is clean. She got deeply depressed every three weeks or so. I told my wife about it, but she poo-pooed me. Sometimes I wonder how come here the weird adventure. We've been all set to go now instead of having to start all over from scratch. I told you not to tell her an adventure. Sister Veronica bought the windows and she would do this. Oh. Hello, how are you? Hi, may I come in a minute? Yes, of course, please do. Hmm. That's nice, where is that? That's the TV room? Uh, well, only temporarily. Uh, she's just walking through your house. Are you sure it wouldn't be too much trouble oh, for you? Oh, honey, if it was trouble, I wouldn't ask you. She is crazy. <laughs> she just walked through the house, just... Yeah. I guess... This... That old bomb guard got that part. Bad play, anyway. Yeah, even if it falls out of town, it's the kind of part that gets noticed. Ah, uh, he didn't get it. She is the nosiest person I've ever seen. You know, she actually asked the prices of things. Okay. Right. Oh, perfect timing. Come on in. Roman's fixing some vodka blushes. My glass. Generally, I pour these out precisely as a bartender, don't I, Minnie? Just watch the car. Thank you. Uh, have you ever tasted one? No, no, I haven't. It looks delicious. I'm from Omaha. Guy's from Baltimore. Omaha's a good city. Baltimore is too. Yeah. 
That's exactly what it is. Oh, weren't you Albert Finney's understudy? No. Well, that's strange. Well, I know I'm not sure now. It was a... <laughs> Why he eat like that? The most interesting inequality guy. It appears in your television work, too. Very nice. Him to say, because he ain't been doing well. <laughs> but he's... Show now? Struggling actor, trying to get it going. I'm up for a couple of parts. Well, I can't believe that you won't get them. Well, I can't. No, Roman, will you stop bending guys' ears with your majestic stories? Guess what they have in their bathroom? Jokes for the jaw. No. A book and a hook right next to the toilet. The hook's in the wall and clean spaces, and the one picture that is there doesn't fit. I didn't notice that. Some people enjoy a record and a good book. Soothes the mind. Hi, dear. We're not bothering you, are we? That's my dear friend, Laurel Louise McGuinn. He lives up on 12. This is for you from Rome and then me. For me? That ball. It's lovely, but I, I can't accept it. You already have. Put it on. Mm -hmm. You'll get used to the smell before you know her. What is with the smell? It was Terry's. No kidding. Kind of pretty, though. Why would they give you a dead girl's gift? All right, wearing that shit. Hello? Yes, this is he. I don't have any idea what's causing it. I hate to get it that way, but... <laughs> he done got a part for somebody getting fucked up, I bet. Guy? Donald Baumgart, he's gone blind. Oh, I've got the part. That's a hell of a way to get it. I'm bad about that shit. Something ain't right with that. I don't know what. <laughs> but they were talking about it. Who are them people over there? I say you had another suicide up there at uh, Happy House. Oh, didn't I tell you? Well, you're bound to feel two ways about it. Even if I'm Mr. Yamaha for the rest of my days, I'm going to stop giving you the short end of the stick. Let's have a baby. All right? Let's have three babies, one at a time, all right? One at a time. He's sick. He's serious about that shit. No, I'm kidding. Sure, I mean it. <sighs> the pain! The pain! Hi, guys. How are you? No, don't let her in. Not tonight. <laughs> Who says there's nothing to ESP? Madame, monsieur, shall have the dessert after all. Huh? I wonder what's in that. I don't trust nothing about her. That girl killed herself. Mmm. It's good. Come on, the old bat slaved all day, now eat it. I don't like it. It's delicious. Would you turn the record over, please? <laughs> What's wrong with him? It's the Pope at Yankee Stadium. Walking to a specially built canopy at second grade. Perhaps we are being undignified. Had to shake that shit off. What happened? We can't get her. Dizzy. Guy, get her. Man, the fuck was in that pudding? Oh, hey. shit. Hey. He can't get her up. <laughs> See, itty bitty, man. You can't pick that little woman up. Nice. Sleep is what you need. Good night's sleep. Well, we'll do it. Tomorrow, there's plenty of time. Why are you taking them off? To make you more comfortable. I am more comfortable. What does this dream mean, yo? Why? Typhoon! Typhoon! It killed 50... You gotta decipher this dream. <gasps> Is this shit happening? Wake, she sees. She don't see. As long as she ate the mouse, she can't see. Now here, she's like dead now. Sing. So is this shit happening? She dreaming. This is no dream. This is really happening. What time did I go to sleep? You didn't go to sleep. You yeah. passed out. Uh, don't yell. I already filed mm. him down. <laughs> I didn't want to miss baby night. You. And I what? I dreamed someone was raping me. I didn't want to miss the night. We could have done it. I didn't want to miss the night. My wife passed out. We passed out. 
both of us got to have sex at the same time. We can't just pick different times and be together. To talk about it? About what? The way you haven't been looking at me. What are you talking about? I've been looking at you. Fuck. He said, well, I didn't want to miss baby. You know what? I'm going to be quiet about it. That's some bullshit, guy. No, just the last. Universal hemoglobin. Yes, sir. Hello? Miss Woodhouse? Dr. Hill? Congratulations. Really? Really. 28. <laughs> that sounds so far away. It is. Yeah. Oh, well, that shit sound kind of suspect, but we'll roll with it. I mean, he's your doctor. Oh, that's great. That's just great. <laughs> Father. Uh, mother. <laughs> Goddamn self-centered. That's what the whole trouble is. You know I love you, don't you, Roll? And cutting, cussing himself out. Something going on. I don't know what it is. Pregnant. She said it was something inhuman. Another blood sample. Please don't read books. No pregnancy was ever exactly like the ones described in the books. Oh. You want to be stupid? Be nonviolent, stupid. You're in love with no one, especially not your. She cut her hair. It looks good. What's that? I, I've been to be dull so soon. An entirely natural expansion of the pelvis. You can fight it with ordinary aspirin. Yeah, that's Randolph from Trading Places. I will never forget the face. I see they got the window unit. What are you talking about? You look great. It's that haircut that looks awful. <laughs> Jesus, God. Soon. It's very in. What's wrong with you? Cut her hair. My husband did not like that shit. Pregnant women gain weight, they don't lose it. I don't sleep well. I have stiff joints or something. She looks pale. Don't know, three pounds. Oh, nonsense. You've lost far more than that. Hutch, this is Roman Castavet, Edward Hutchins. How do you do? Oh, how are you, sir? Natural. I bet expectant mother's two bits of. Tannis root when nobody'd even heard of vitamin B. Doesn't look like uh, root matter, more like mold or fungus of some kind. Well, you and your wife seem to be taking better care of Rosemary than her own parents. No, we're very fond of her, and of Guy, too. I look terrible. <sighs> ah, good old Hutchie, spreading cheer wherever he goes. It does look terrible. Why, well, I think she's asleep. I mean, not terrible as in bad. She just looks sick. Okay. Oh, did you find your glove? No, they didn't have it. Good night, Rosemary. Sleep well. Mm -mm. I don't trust none of them. He always got to go somewhere. Uh, my name is Rosemary Woodhouse. I had an appointment with Mr. Hutchins. Is he there? Taken ill. Yes. He's in a deep coma at St. Vincent's Hospital. I spoke to him at 11. Who is this? You don't know me, Rosemary. I'm Grace Cardi, Fudge's friend. Mm -hmm. Rosemary's going out. I might as well go out and do a little bit of Christmas shopping. And now here you. Look at that hat. There's two more weeks. She has a whistle for the taxi. Uh, to 1966. 1966. Oh, that is not cranberry sauce. That's some raw meat. Big ass apartment. Pajamas, baby. Our old, I mean our young friends. Minnie and Roman are not invited. Neither is Laura Louise. <laughs> Under 60 to get in. That looks interesting. What's it for? Well, don't do the lettuce then. No, I won't wait too long. Don't drink no more of that shit. Don't eat no more of that shit. Because you've been sick for too long. I'm glad you waking up and realizing that something ain't right. You're so lucky. It's a fantastic I house. You look like a piece of chalk. You make feed you, love. You like a piece of chalk. <laughs> Experience. Oh, it's money in there. French, French, French. They eat little children. Oh. 
just mean they. These coats. I got another doctor named Sacristy. Know the man. He's going through hell trying to make the adjustments. Yeah, he dictates. He's alright. Keep his ass out. Let her deal with her people. She need her people's in. What? You have been in pain since November and he's not doing anything to help you? Dr. Saperstein is either lying or he's... I don't know, out of his mind. They're, They're a bunch of bitches. not very bright bitches who ought to mind their own goddamn bitch. All they wow. What are you talking about? What about what's fair to me? If you want a second opinion. What? What? Pain, stop. 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 Stop shaking. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I... He's weird. No. Boy. He must be getting some money because every time they want something painted, somebody come in and do it. I'm glad Rose feel better. Damn. Yes? I'm Grace Cardiff. Oh, I was hoping to meet you. Thank you for calling. Hutch regained consciousness at the end, and he thought it was the next morning. I wasn't there, but he told the doctor to make sure that you got the book that was on his desk. 70s cars, baby. Float like a dream. Easily be speeding and not know it. I was late. I couldn't get a taxi. Oh, what a shame. Oh, you got mail already? All of them witches. Okay. What's this shit? I wonder what that means. Oh shit. What's with the chain? She locked her door. Roman Castanet is Stephen Marcato, the arrest. You know he not gonna believe this shit. You're Stephen Marcato, all right? Poor old geezer with a crazy father like that. No wonder he switched his name around. Makata. Fantastic. I think he told me once his father was a coffee importer. He told Guy he was a producer. I understand how disturbed you must be to have him for a close neighbor. <laughs> I don't trust them, the doctor, none of them. Guy? Hmm? Where's my book? Oh, I uh, put it in the garbage. It really is. Guy, Hutch gave me that book. He left it to me. I wasn't thinking about that. So she's gonna get another book. Hey, Yo, what the fuck are you doing, Rose? <laughs> wow. Rose just went out in the street. She went and bought her some more books on the subject. Serious about this shit. Supposed to be cast without one of the victim's belongings. My God. Be a happy little lady. Rose of uniform. I wanted to know how you are. If there's been any improvement. Well, bless your heart. By the way, he has something of yours, you know. What do you mean? Well, well, he's got mine and I've got his. Do you think he stole it? I have to hang up now. I just. So your husband is down with the, with with all of that shit, and now you know that. Now you now what you gonna do now? Now I need them pills. She's not gonna make it at that apartment. Tuesday. You're smart to get it over with before August. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's, it's called Dechima. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a big improvement on your regular, if you don't mind my saying. The doctor will follow your example. He's got one, too? Dr. Saperstein. He has the aftershave. Anyway, he has the same smell once in a while, whatever it is. And... <laughs> she got the fuck up out of there. Who do you call now? You can't go to your husband. Then I did something to get that part. Dr. Hill's office. Uh, Dr. Hill, please. This is his answering service. Would you like to leave a message? Yeah. 
She is out here on her own. Oh, oh, really? D did he really say that? No, he didn't. <laughs> ah! She's faking it. I do that sometimes. Tell him to call me. Hmm? All right. Thank you. That lady gonna come back on that. Yes, doctor. Mrs. Woodhouse? Yes. I can't stay too long here. They'll, they'll be coming looking for me. Right. I beg you. I beg you. Who's that standing at the damn door? Who's that peeping through the window? To that apartment. I know this sounds crazy, but I've, I've got books here. Look. The doctor gonna subscribe you some special medicine to put you in a nice suit. Which he did. Took his glove and they put a spell on him too. Put him in a coma. Three months later he died. Anything they've got, even a broom closet, they'd find. I hope we can do better than that. Lie down, rest. Oh shit. Your, your, your doctor did that. Everything's gonna be okay. A nice clean hospital. It's getting thick. The music's starting to get weird. I see out. Uh-uh. <laughs> what is your plan, Rose? Uh-uh. Get the fuck out of here. Come with you motherfucker. You with them. Make a scene. Because if you say him with the witches or witchcraft shoes on. Damn. Look at this motherfucker here. We're gonna go home and rest. That's all it takes. Thank you for your trouble, Doctor. Out here on her own. That lady gonna come back on that page. Come on, open up, bro. Go to hell! Come on. This is Rosemary. Please ask her to call Rosemary. The second she gets home, it's... We don't want to hurt you, Rose. Oh, who the fuck are them? You, you know motherfucker. Right. You with them. Rose! She hit him with the phone. Rose, ain't nobody there to help you. Damn. Look at this motherfucker here. Wait a minute now. I'm sorry, my little darling. Oh, okay. What is it? A boy. And it's alright. Yes. I don't know what the fuck going on. Where the baby at? Where is it? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh dear, what a start you gave me. Witches. <laughs> she is pointing fingers at all you sons of bitches. Where is it? All you sons of witches. You son of a witch! There were complications, Rosemary, but nothing that'll affect future births. Dead. She was in the wrong position. In the hospital, I might have been able to do something about it. Abe says it's called prepartum. I don't know. It's some kind. From now on, everything's going to be roses. Paramount's within an inch of where we want them, and suddenly Universal's interested too. Let me see your shoulder. It's a doorway. Generally prefer doing this music. Let's show. The high pressure area that we see here has been causing this extreme heat and humidity. Do you hear a baby crying? People are actually dying. It's so hot. shit she got a big ass knife yeah what's up what's happening shit ah! Rose 
Rosemary. Rosemary. Shut up, you're in Dubrovnik. I don't hear you. It wasn't a dream. What have you done to its eyes? He has his father's eyes. What have you done to him, you maniac? Who the fuck is that? He shall overthrow the mighty and lay waste their temples. He shall redeem the despised and wreak vengeance. He arranged things because he wanted you to be the mother of his only living son. No! It can't be! God! It wasn't a dream. Be a real mother to Adrian. You don't have to join if you don't want to. Just be a mother to your baby. Shut up with your old gods, or we'll kill your milk and oil milk. You shut up. Who the fuck is that? Yeah, promise me you wouldn't be hurt. And you haven't been. Really. We're getting so much in return, wrong. <laughs> Spit in his faith! <laughs> you ain't shit. Fuck out of here. Let me introduce you to Agiron Stavropoulos. Plain ordinary Lipton's tea, you drink it. Don't you drink that shit. Fucking crazy. Get her out of here. Put her where she belongs. You're rocking him too fast. That's why he's crying. Yeah, move your dusty ass out of the way. Trying to get me to be his mother. Aren't you his mother? <laughs> Shit. That's it. That is it. That's a 1968 horror drama. Rosemary's baby. I guess Rosemary kept the baby. Well, obviously, she didn't have a choice. And she raised him. I know that that wasn't a dream. I knew that the, her, her husband was in on it. We didn't know how deeply he was, but it looks like it was like a deal. He got what he wanted, I guess. So what an ending. I guess it's up to you to figure out what happened afterwards, I wonder. So there's a part two to this movie? Anyone seen the part two? Leave me down in the comments. Let me know. Part two worth investing? I've never heard of this movie before. But I'm, I mean, I'm stuck in for the long ride now. I need to know what it, what happened to Rosemary and her baby and with all of that other stuff going on. Did she just say, I'm down or what? I need to know these things. A different type of horror, I guess. Horror supernatural, I guess. Very tamed. But again, I need to know what happened. So let me know. Until then, we got more movies to cover. Yes, we do. Mess with me. <laughs>